Josh was little, he told, I think it was Holly, our granddaughter, I don't have to listen to you. You ain't my boss. <laughs> and I heard it. I said, what did you say? Because she, when I got this point on me, he could see it. He was little. And I said, you will listen to her. Always listen to her. She helped raise you. I, I'm sorry. I'm so, I said, tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. And Holly's like, it's okay, Papa. I said, no, it's not. He can't never do that. Absolutely, you will listen to her. She's a good mama. If I leave her in charge or Ashley in charge or whoever, you will listen. And uh, he was little and he got it and it helped him. Somebody say consequences. I need God to do that to me because he loves me. I didn't do that because I was mad at him. I done it because it's real easy, y'all, to be a friend to kids. It's real easy to pop in and give them a candy bar once in a while and do something cool with them. They say, man, you're the coolest aunt that I got. You're the coolest uncle I got. That's easy. Being a parent, that's a whole different thing. And some parents don't get it. I love my children, but I have to teach them right and wrong, and I have to correct them. You get to pop in every once in a while and be cool with them. Amen? <laughs> I told people that. You don't have no idea. It's tough being a parent. You got to do the right thing. He chastises those that he loves, and that's what we have to do. As parents, we got to teach. And I'm not talking about beating somebody. I'm talking about correcting people. Uh, there's got to be some kind of bad consequences for things that people do. you got to do something. Hebrews 12 and 10 again. Our earthly fathers trained us for a few brief years, doing the best for us that they knew how. But God's correction is always right and for our best good, that we may share his holiness being punished isn't enjoyable while it's happening. It hurts. But afterwards, we can see the result, a quiet growth in grace and character. I love that scripture, y'all. So I always make sure you hear me when I talk about God's grace and forgiveness. His mercy endures forever. It's amazing. He's always there when you fall. And you will always have to go through his chastisement because he loves you. His correction, his authority when you fall. Somebody say he loves me. He's not going to let you play around the road and be all right with that. He's not going to let you destroy your life and be all right with that. If you want God, you're going to have to understand that he loves you. And he's a good father, real good father, man. He's not going to get you down and beat you till you can't walk. He's not. But I promise you that he will correct you. And sometimes those hurt worse than the whippings do. Amen.